What is up you guys? I'm James Streams Giptiles. This is gonna be the first video in 4K. I've always shot in 4K. Um, I've had a lot of issues with resolution. I think I just figured it out. Um, we'll see when I upload this video, all right? Uh, so, today's video, two days video, it's gonna be about breeding Dubia. This came to me, uh, I had a buddy over. Uh, we were working on the, the podcast, Rep Talk Podcast. I'll link to his channel in the description. Um, and he was telling me he was having a hard time breeding Dubia. And you know, me, I've bred Dubia for so long. Literally, I've been breeding Dubia for like four or five years. I'm like, that's so easy, right? Not to everyone. For me, yeah, I've been doing it so long, it's just so obvious. I've worked at a place where we, I worked at two different places where I take care of the Dubia. And, you know, it just comes so naturally that I don't think about other people never doing it before, or being nervous, or all this, right? So I figured I'd make that video for you guys. But first, I want to let you guys know, um, we're shooting in 4K, we're doing all this. Give me that subscribe button, hit it, uh, help me out, let me grow, um, like, comment, all that stuff. Comment what you want to see, I love seeing that stuff. I love I love hearing your guys' ideas for videos, but we're going to start off with Dubia, right? So, this is my current Dubia colony. Now, it's it's not popping, popping. You'll know if it's popping, popping. But uh, I'll take a thing out. You can already see there's some in there. I don't know how it's going to look on 4K. This one's slim pickings. But there's some right there. Like, some of them got a lot. Some of them don't. I pulled out one over here earlier. Look at all those. And look at all these. So, breeding dubia, right? What do you, first you want to ask, what are you breeding dubia for? Are you feeding a beard of dragon? Do you want to make money? There is money to be made in dubia breeding. Um, but let's just say you're, you're, uh, you got a beard of dragon, or maybe you're breeding beard of dragons, or you're breeding leopard geckos, and you need some extra food, right? This is something I saw a lot when I was breeding, when I had like eight dubia colonies, and I was selling locally. Um, I would see people buy whole colonies or starter colonies, which is awesome. It's great for business. And they'd be like, yeah, I got a beer jacket. I want to buy my own colony. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, I have enough people to sell to. It doesn't matter. Five months later, they come back. They're like, hey, the colony's done. I need more. I need to buy another colony. I'm like, what happened? So they would feed it all off. See, this is the problem I see a lot of people run into. Pardon me, I just burped. Uh, ooh, some more burp. Bearded dragons eat a lot. So, one dubia colony, uh, depending on how popping it can be, you can feed it off quicker than they can reproduce, which is very unfortunate. Something like this, I probably could if I really tried, if I was only feeding a bearded dragon dubia, or maybe I had a couple babies, but, you know, it's it's really good idea to either have two dubia colonies, or, you know, only feed once or twice a week. It's really easy to, to, to feed off too many. And you don't want to feed the adults off either. You want to keep those, let them breed. Uh, but really, the main thing for Nubia is your tub. This is a huge tub. It's not like a, like a regular tote. It's the big long ones you see. Uh, it's plastic. The cardboard is just tall. It's just tall enough to where they can't get out. Um, and I keep no lid on it. I, you know, I don't like... If you keep the lid on it, even with the vents, it tends to build up ammonia and become really gross. I like it this way. I can, every day I throw some carrot in. I can make sure there's bran in there. I just go to the feed store and I get the, the bran and I, you know, whenever it looks like there's not, not enough in there, I put extra scoops. It's not a science. Um, sometimes I grind up some fish food, some turtle food that I have laying around in there. Uh, if, if you have crested geckos, you can feed these guys the leftover crested gecko food that's dried up in the cup. You know, just put the cup in there and you'll see them come out and eat it in the night. It's crazy. They'll eat anything. Uh, they love fruits and vegetables. Just don't let anything rot in there, right? Really easy. Um, these guys like it really warm. If it were up to me, they would be at 92 degrees, I think. Maybe even higher. Uh, but they'll, they'll breed faster at 92 degrees. I keep my reptile room 74 all the time. I got the new heater. Um, sometimes it falls to 70. Uh, I put on a timer. If I, if I forget to reset the timer, it'll fall down to around 70, uh, cause all the heat racks, but I prefer 74. Now I should slap a, a heater on the, one of the sides where I know there's going to be a lot like right here and a thermostat. I just haven't done it yet. Once I start selling these and they can pay for it themselves, they'll get it. Um, 
But yeah, that's that's really they're really easy. They love the aid crate. Uh, just give them lots of time. Babies to adults take about six to eight months. Adults to the first babies take about two to three months. So if I were you guys and you wanted to start a dubia colony, first off, start the colony and expect not to feed anything for at least six to eight months. And with that, just know you're you're still going to be buying your your animals food, not even not even feeding them these, right? You're always going to be buying food. Um, but what you would do is you'd buy as many adults as you can, uh, usually two or three males to 10 females. It's not really, it doesn't really matter. If I look in here and I just see a shit ton of males, I'll just sell them or feed them off, whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, it's, the ratio really doesn't matter. Um, but you'll buy a bunch of adults, let them start breeding. And then maybe you wait a month or two, buy some more adults, let them start breeding. Cause if you buy just a, just one set of adults, let them breed. All the adults are going to die off by the time the first babies are like mediums. You have to wait for those to get to adults and start having babies and make sure the cycle is really good uh, before you can start pulling some out. And you really just want it, you know, nice and big. You want extra, extra dubia. If you ever have extra, you can just sell them or feed extra. Uh, but you never want to pull it too thin because it gets really hard to, to get back out of that, right? But some people will feed water gel, uh, water crystals. You can buy those at Home Depot and just add water in like a dish. Try not to get the egg crate wet. If you're going to put vegetables in here, try not to put it on the egg crate. The egg crate will get gross. Um, but yeah, dubia are really easy. Super, super uh, fun. Uh, they do take up room. They do smell a little bit. Um, at night, they sound like rain, which is actually really cool. And yeah, that's going to be dubia breeding. I just wanted to let you guys know, hey, what's up? Uh, we're breeding dubia. I want to help you guys. I know a lot of people want to breed dubia. We went through a scare in my area last year. Um, no one had dubia from Reno to the Bay Area and Sacramento, everything in between. No one had dubia. Everyone was out. Everyone killed their colonies or sold too many. And it took a year and a half to get back up. I had dubia. Close to the beginning, I sold off all my dubia, though. Um, wish I would have kept it a little bit longer. Not at the end of the world. I still made a lot of money off of them. Um, but at the point where I had a whole rack, I was making about $150 to $200 every month just on dubia. Um, so it's really consistent money, too, if you're looking for that. I would take a metal rack just like this, and you take the tubs like this that just aren't as long, and you just do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's exactly how I had it. And I ran a heat cable underneath the wire and that was it. You know, that's all she wrote. I would just breed them. And every time a colony looked really big, I'd split it into a second colony. Those would get really big. I'd split them up. And when I had eight, I just started selling them. And uh, yeah, it worked out really well. Uh, having eight was good because I could sell a whole colony once a month. And when I put an empty tub there, I just put a little bit from each one. Every couple weeks, I'd put a little bit from each one, and in no time, that colony was was real big, and I'd sell a different one. I'd label them, so whichever one was the oldest, I'd just sell that one. Um, but yeah, Dubia make a lot of money. They can be a lot of fun, and they're actually really easy. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, like I said, I know it's not very long, uh, but we will be going to Pomona in just a few short weeks, which is awesome. We have in two weeks the Pleasanton Reptile Expo, which is actually really close. It's actually a fun one. I, that was one of the first expos I went to. I don't know for sure if I'll be going. If I do go, I will absolutely film for you guys. I might go on like a Sunday just to film. Honestly, if Pleasanton isn't that far. It's like an hour, hour 15. But come the 22nd, something like that, and we're going to Pomona, uh, me and my girlfriend, and we will definitely be filming that. So if there's any vendors you guys are specifically looking for, you know we're at Pomona, Comment down below and I will make sure I film that for you guys. Anyway, this has been a good time talking with you. I hope you enjoyed something. I hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.